Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M Image Consulting. Today's video, it's all about button-up shirts. First, I'm going to take you guys along as I actually order a new shirt from BlankLabel.com. I'm also going to show you and teach you two different options on how you can roll your sleeves to really stand out and look great. Then, hopefully, by the end of this video, my shirt will have arrived from Blank Label so I can actually show it to you. Lastly, I'm going to teach you guys how to iron because some of you guys I'm sure don't know. I know a lot of grown men who have no idea how to iron a shirt. Yeah, it's true, you could take them to get pressed or laundered or dry cleaned, but it's a recession, man, and sometimes money's tight. You gotta learn to be self-sufficient and not rely on your mama. So today, it's all about shirts. All right, first thing first, I'm gonna go to blanklabel.com, the website. You can get there after you watch this video by clicking the link below or in the sidebar. But wait till the end of the video, man. Let's go to blanklabel.com and design a shirt. All right, and here we are, Blank Label's website. On this first page, the home page, uh, if you are so inclined, you could order one of these fantastically contrasting and colorful shirts. I would not. Uh, no, because they're ugly. Go in, design your own shirt. Okay, this site is pretty self-explanatory. It pretty much walks you through each of these steps, but let's start with fabric. All right. Blank Label just got a bunch of new fabrics, all different, uh, in this first page it's all different plaids and some fun colors. On the second page it's more professional, businessy patterns and fabrics that, uh, that you can choose from. I'm going to go something fun. I've gotten big into plaid this year, as you know plaid is in. Um, I'm thinking about the roasted chestnut. It's a large check, white and brown check. Uh, I wear a lot of brown. I'm going to go with that and it's a really lightweight fabric it says over here in the uh, description of the fabric on the right hand side. So let's go there. Next, style. Alright, do I want contrasting collar? No. Inner lining, which looks like this. Inside the collar. I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> I'm gonna choose the wide collar and uh, right there it actually changed it for us. Next step over here, cuff. Alright, this is basically the inside of the sleeve is actually a contrasting color or fabric which looks like this. In another shirt I did actually the full lining so it's not just the cuff, it's all the way up to your shoulder so you can roll it as many times as you want and you're always going to have that contrasting color. You could make the outside of the cuff contrasting and go with something crazy and zany like that. I wouldn't do that. So let's go back to cuff, undo that because it's ugly. You could also go here where just the inside of the cuff is lined that looks like this. So you have the shirt sleeve. All that does is put the same color fabric inside your cuff. So if you flip it up once, you'd be able to see it. All right, so you're going for a casual look. You want to roll your sleeves up. Now, typically with any shirt, long sleeve shirt that you have, I like to go with two roll minimum. So you want to make sure that your cuffs are unbuttoned. Also, the little button up there, you want to make sure that that's undone also. If you don't, your sleeves are going to get real tight. The rolls are going to be real small. Take it, roll it at least the diameter or the width of the cuff once. Tuck it in there nice and big and fat, twice, boom, perfect roll. If you want to, you could take it up a third time, but it is going to start to get a little bit bulky and also a little bit tight. Two rolls, perfect. Nowadays what you're finding is a lot of the designer shirts, a lot of people and designers are actually putting some other colored fabric or pattern fabric inside the cuff. And you're like, man, that looks really cool, but I don't want to just roll my cuff up one time because I'll look like a douche. Aaron, help me. What do I do? How do I make it show and still look cool? I've got the answer. So here it is. For shirts that have something cool inside the cuff that you want to show but you still want to roll your sleeves up, here it is. Straighten your arm. Make sure that button's unbuttoned in there or this isn't going to work. Take that sleeve. Roll it up so that basically that cool fabric, the end of your cuff, is right where your arm bends. Got it? Got it? All the way around. Next. Underneath here, go in here. 
and start folding up. Takes a little bit of adjustment. Boom. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Look, check. Your sleeves are rolled up, right? But that little hint of fabric, it's showing. You look dynamite, super cool, and nobody knows how you did it, but now you do. Now back to the shirt. And I'm keeping it plain. I'm feeling like a plain shirt. Single button cuff, check. Next step, placket. Placket is basically just where the buttons are. You could contrast that. I'm going standard. Next, shoulders. You can go clean and plain. You can do stripes. You can do military inspired epaulette. I am actually going plain. Simple. Next, pocket. You could go pockets. I'm going no pocket. I want a pretty plain shirt, like I said. Individualize, different color buttons. No thanks, but it's an option. Monogram. I could get Alpha M. I'm not going to because it's kind of lame. Label. No thanks. You could, if you wanted to, put your name there, and it would be very, very custom. I'm not. Sizing. Here's where it gets tricky. All right, now, first thing you're going to want to do is select the collar size. If you don't know your neck size, best thing to do, go into a department store where they sell dress shirts and have a sales associate, uh, associate measure you. I am a 15 and a half. I'm going to pick that. Uh, basically sleeve length. They're saying that somebody 5'6 is a 32, 5'7, 32 and a half. I'm like 5'6 and a half, <laughs> so I'm going to go uh, 32. Now the fit over here. Slim fit, if you select that, you can show basically what the dimensions are. Now I've ordered a few shirts from Blank Label, and uh, what I find is that the slim fit, if I don't do anything as far as alter the chest width, or shoulder width, the shirt's really snug on me because I, I work out a little bit. Um, you could go with the classic fit and it is going to automatically adjust them. It's still going to be tailored, it's still going to be cut very European, but it's going to have a little bit more room. So I'm actually going to go with the classic fit and allow for more room in the shirt. Time to order. Shirt, 65 bucks. Not too bad. Now typically, the shirt is going to take about two to three weeks to get to you. Now some of you are like, two to three weeks? I don't have time to wait. That's ridiculous. And I say, cool your jets, man, because it's a custom shirt. It's a great price. If you were going to go into a store and have it made, it would still take you a week, two weeks to get it done, and it's going to cost you $150 to $200. So chill out, dude. Anyway, two to three weeks. But because I'm special and fantastic, I think my shirt just got here. I better go check. Sweet. And the shirt has arrived in an eco-friendly carrying bag. Time to check it out. And right out of the package, I put the shirt on. It does need to be ironed, but very lightweight fabric. It's not too tight throughout the chest and the midsection. There's still room in there for me, but it is still tailored. Incredibly comfortable. I think it looks fantastic. Now. Pretend I wore this all day and I need to launder it. You gotta use your imagination for the sake of YouTube. So let's get down to doing laundry and uh, actually ironing a shirt. So you got done wearing the shirt, it's dirty. Toss it in with your other clothes that actually met. I'm not teaching you how to do laundry. If you don't know how to do laundry and separate everything, Ask your mom, ask your dad, ask your grandma. That's not my job. I'm not doing that today. All right, laundry in, shirt washed. And it's done. Now, your shirt is nice and wet. Don't stick it in the dryer. What I want you to do for your nice button-up shirts, hang dry them. So, put it on a hanger, not a wire one preferably. I've got a cheap plastic one. Hang the thing up, wait a few hours, let it dry. Now your shirt's dry, but oh my goodness, look how wrinkled and, oh, what are you going to do now? Mom! Do not call your mother. Time to iron yourself. Let's go. And here are the tools you're going to need. I use spray starch, iron, ironing board, butterfly pattern, very optional. So. Your iron, first thing, has different settings. Uh, basically, it's going to determine how hot you the iron heats up to. 
Um, always look at your, your fabric to see what it is. If it's cotton, like most dress shirts, put it on cotton. You turn it up to linen, it's actually going to possibly burn your shirt. So, you've got that heating up. You've got your wrinkled dress shirt. There we go. Okay, your ironing board has a tapered end. This is the end that you're going to be working most at. What do I want you to do and how I do this? Take your shirt. I always start with the one side that does not have buttons. And what you want to do is you want to get it as flat as possible. Smooth as many wrinkles out as you can. Take a little bit of spray starch. Hit it. It's going to look like it's wet, but that will dry. And then start in the center and slowly and methodically. And next, after you do the side, just start spinning the shirt around. Start with the back and with this tip of the ironing board, jam it up into where that shoulder is so you can get all those wrinkles. So you're done with the back. Now, other side of the shirt where the buttons are. Now, when ironing the arm, you want to make sure Take the shoulder where the seam is on the shoulder, okay? Pull the, sh the arm tight, lay it down. Make sure that you also, with the cuff, fold it so that basically it's where your, your cuff would button, okay? Get that all situated, nice and tight. The reason we do it at the seam on the shoulder is because you want a nice straight crease all the way down to the cuff. Give a little spray starch. Now when doing this, you need to make sure that the bottom side or the basically the other layer of the shirt or the sleeve is not creased or has fabric bunched up or else you'll get a really bad wrinkle. So all the way up, all the way down. Ironing's really not that difficult. It does take a little bit of practice. First time you try ironing a shirt, it's probably going to take you about 45 minutes. But once you get good, you can knock one out in about five minutes. Okay. So then, the cuff is, is basically folded right there, nice and even. Give it a little starch. Set that iron on there. Give it the business. Okay, do both sleeves. Last thing, whoops, the collar. Now, when you're getting ready to do the collar, I want you to do something. If you've got a dress shirt and it has collar stays, these little sticks, inside those little pockets in the collar, take them out because a lot of times the heat of the iron, if the iron is too hot, will melt these. Look, somebody didn't iron, somebody ironed those. See how they're melted and distorted? You don't want that to happen. Lay the collar up flat. Give it a little bit of starch. And you don't have to use starch when ironing. I do just because I like a crisper shirt. Go up, making sure not to crease the collar, nice and flat, got that nice and ironed, flip it over, fold the collar where it would normally be folded, give it a little more starch, and create a nice tight crease. Voila! Ironing complete. That was the absolute worst demonstration on how to iron a shirt, I'm sure. Find, go, do another YouTube search for how to iron a shirt. There are people that spent a lot of time making the video. Me, I gotta get through this. I'm on a time crunch today, but you get the idea. Now it's true, you could take your shirt to the dry cleaner, your shirts every week to the dry cleaner to get them to launder and press them. You're gonna spend basically about five to six dollars per shirt. And do the math. I mean, if you wear five shirts a week and you know each four weeks in a month, it, it gets really expensive. Even if you have the money, it is an essential part of being a guy and being a dude to learn how to iron. Because inevitably, someday you're going to be in a pinch and you're going to want to wear a great shirt that you have, but it's wrinkled. Your mom's not around, your boyfriend, your girl, nobody's around to help you. And I'm trying to teach Piglet, but so far, no luck. Anyway, it really says that you take care of yourself, that you are a renaissance man, that you are not afraid to get a little dirty. You need to learn to iron. So if this video, and I'm sure it didn't, teach you how to do it, find another video, find a friend, find a parent, find a grandparent, and say, please teach me how to iron because I want to be awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.